people here every year. On average, uh, 3,800 people in the state of Vermont will hear this number in 2018. It's a staggered number. Fortunately, a lot of people have a different cancer journey that they share, maybe individuals in this room. Some roads recovery are short, while others are long. For instance, my mother, Sherry Winther, is a two-time breast cancer survivor. The first time my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer was in 2004 when I was a high school junior. And um, while she, because of early detection, they were able to find out that mastectomy in her left chest was the best way to get rid of cancer, there was still a possibility that it could grow back. So what did we do? Well, her favorite thing to do was bake. So we freaking baked. We baked rainbow cookies and snowflake cookies, anything you can think of. Just as long as we were together, that helped her get through a really tough time. Then, unfortunately, 10 years later, 2014, at an annual mammogram, the doctors found that cancer cells had regrown again in her chest. This time, the cells were so large that you would have to undergo chemo treatment, um, 16 weeks of it to be exact, but it did end on December 31st. Throughout this whole process, my mom kept such a positive attitude because when she went to support groups and talked to other people, she found that you know being able to have chemo was an option that was available to her that isn't necessarily available to other people. Fortunately, because of advances in technology and cancer research, when doctors found that she was positive for something called a brown gene, they were able to tailor her treatment to meet her needs, and she has been cancer-free since 2016. Come to July of this year, and I started working at the American Cancer Society of Vermont. It's in Wilton, for anybody who hasn't heard of it before. Um, you've seen us around. Um, a staggering statistic, I just want to share with people in this room, if you're not aware, 15% of all men and a third of all women alive right now will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. While a lot of progress has been made, there's so much work that still needs to be done, and that's why the American Cancer Society exists around the country. Um, our mission, for those who aren't aware, is to save lives, to celebrate lives, and to lead the fight for all about cancer. There's a lot of ways that we uh, live our mission. Anybody here show hands if you ever visited or heard of the Hope Watch in Burlington, Vermont? Cool. For those who are not uh, aware, this is located right outside of the Medical Center. Um, it provides a free home away from home for cancer patients and possibly their caregivers while they're undergoing treatment at EPM Medical Center. While they are all around the country, there's actually only 36. So Vermont has one of these fantastic resources. It's been around for about 10 years. There's a lot of ways to get involved in the facility. Um, but for some people who aren't currently going through a cancer journey, but just have questions about the disease and things for risk reduction, there is a 1-800 number, there is a live chat line, you don't take off holidays, you don't take off weekends, you can talk to somebody at any time. My role at the American Cancer Society um, is involved in fundraising, because that's how these resources are made available. Fortunately, my job is to put the fun in fundraising, and I, I'll tell you a little bit about that. Um, can anybody show hands if any of the symbols on the screen look familiar? A little bit? Okay, cool. So these are some examples of some of the statewide programs and the annual events that we have across the state, but also other states have as well. Some of these are specific to our area. Um, some of the men up on the wall here are what are known as real men who are paying for Vermont. These are male community leaders that um, have decided to use their platform, uh, whatever it might be in their community, to raise awareness about breast cancer research. Um, there's events like Hope on the Slopes, which is a mix of a physical, vertical ski challenge, but also a team fundraising event. You do it with friends, coworkers, companies do it. It's at JP Resort. It's a great day to get together um, with family and friends. Then there's really for life events. There's actually nine in the state of Vermont, um, so they're in, all over the country as well. The important thing about these events is they are staff supported, but they're volunteer run. So we can make sure 80% of donor dollars goes to our mission. Because at the end of the day, one person can make a difference. One person in this room could drive a cancer, pre cancer patient to treatment they otherwise might have missed. One person in this room could start a team at one of the events and raise a dollar, which could lead to another dollar. At the end of the day, one person in this room has the ability to bring the community together. And together is a